Europe's transport networks are under pressure from ever-growing volumes of freight. In our globalized economy, the efficiency of ports and their connections to the markets they serve both play a decisive role. In Germany, the seaports of Hamburg, Bremerhaven and Wilhelmshaven are vital gateways for the economy. How do we respond to the rising demand for freight transport? Budgetary constraints mean that major infrastructure projects are unlikely in the short term. The answer lies in maximizing the productivity and efficiency of what's already in place. Innovative hinterland concepts are vital for Germany sports for two reasons. One is to have the optimum usage of capacity of expensive investments into container terminals. And second is to have the boxes as fast as possible in the hinterland or from the hinterland in the port uh, by innovative concepts. And that is the big advantage of German seaports over neighboring competitive ports. The Tiger project was set up to create gateway concepts for the German container ports. Two maritime hinterland terminal models were developed within the German demonstrators to improve rail capacity and service quality and to promote rail transport as an integral part of the global supply chain. These demonstrator rail hubs have paved the way for new logistics solutions. Wagon groups or containers are exchanged between shuttle trains to create intensively used dedicated block trains with full loads destined for just one terminal in the seaport or hinterland. Let's take a look at the Nienwerk demonstrator. Here, train assembly processes are optimized and related processes are moved away from the seaport area to the rail hub. This eliminates the difficulties ports face in handling multiple train stops and increasing amounts of time being spent on train formation within the port area. For containers being exported via the port of Hamburg, this means the trains arrive at the hub from the hinterland each one bringing several wagon groups destined for the various container terminals. They are reformed using electric line locomotives. The trains depart for the port of Hamburg, each train made up of wagons destined for only one terminal. The plans are to handle more than 400 trains via Nienburg during the project's lifetime, transporting at least 32,000 TEU. Roland Umschlag, located in Bremen Freight Village, was selected as the second demonstrator due to its ideal position for the German container ports. The basic principle consists of frequent shuttle trains between the ports and the hub. Container volumes for the different terminals and ports are bundled at the Bremen hub in order to strengthen the spokes to each port, as well as to the hinterland. Bremen Roland can act as a buffer for seaport terminals and has all the features in place for further development into a dry port with a full service portfolio. There is an additional focus on containers currently being moved by road between Bremen Freight Village and the seaports. The target is to shift those containers to rail. About 150 trains will be handled via Bremen Roland during the project's lifetime transporting more than 10,000 TEU. The feasibility of these innovative rail hub schemes was demonstrated successfully and underlined by some excellent results. Intermodal links between the seaports and hinterland destinations via the Bremen hub have been improved. Rail services will be further stepped up from now to the end of the project. Nienburg has been a success story right from the start. Dwell times in the seaport area were reduced by several hours for each train. The utilization of terminal slots increased to nearly 100%. Train punctuality in the seaports improved to 85%. And rail production costs decreased thanks to the elimination of shunting movements in the seaports.
Hamburg has a great successful history in delivering efficient port and logistic operations with smooth connections to the hinterland. That's why we support innovations as well as sustainability in the logistic and supply chain sector. A strong port depends on competitive hinterland connections. For the future, we have to improve these. The Tiger project has taken a unique approach to challenge these goals for the future. The German demonstrators give us a convincing vision for the future based on measurable results. I am sure that German North Sea ports and Hamburg in particular will play a leading role and continue to act as a forerunner for other European ports.